As I've mentioned in the introductory video, I've split this course into a section on OCD and also include a separate section on intrusive thoughts. So I'm going to start with obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, you're probably already aware of this, but I'm, I'm going to touch on it lightly anyway. An obsession are all those unwanted, unwelcome intrusive thoughts and images that you get in your head. And the compulsions are the things that you do to help you cope with those uncomfortable thoughts in your head. They're not always thoughts, though. It could, you might have compulsions just when something doesn't feel quite right. And I'll be covering that later on. In the introductory video, I spoke about choice and, I, and explained at the moment you have no choice but to jump into your compulsions. And this is because you are reacting to your thoughts and images as if they are true. I'm going to introduce the element of choice and teach you to respond in a different way. Now, it doesn't matter what form your OCD is taking, whether you've got a fear of germs and contamination and you're cleaning, whether you can't throw anything out and you're hoard hoarding, the treatment is the same. I don't want to spend too much time detailing all the way it can manifest itself. So I'm just going to give a quick overview and then jump straight into it. The obsessions are those thoughts, images, the urges that you get and those nagging doubts. And I'm going to explain each of those now. The thoughts can be about you as a person. You might be thinking, I'm no good. I'm a bad person. Or it can be concerns about your sexual identity, questions about your relationships. Or the thoughts can focus around germs on your food or on your person. How do I know I'm clean? How do I know I'm not contaminated? There are, of course, many more types of thoughts and it's impossible for me to list them all here, but they have one thing in common. They will all be extremely difficult for you to have in your head as they will not be reflecting you as a person. You will also not be able to dismiss these thoughts as random thoughts as you will feel personally responsible for having these thoughts in your head. You will assume that they must mean something, that they must reflect you as a person. The images can be very disturbing. You might see a loved one dead. You could have an image of an accident. They can be violent sexual images. They can be images that you're causing harm to children. And again, I'm not listing all the types of images that you can get in your head. I'm just giving a quick overview. But similar to the thoughts, the one thing that they have in common as they are extremely disturbing to you and you see them as reflecting you as a person. Somehow they must mean something. And the urges can be aggressive or violent, causing harm or doing something over and over again until it just feels right. I mentioned this briefly um, at the start of this video. Sometimes things just don't feel right. You might find you could be, for example, locking up your house or washing up dishes, washing yourself, combing your hair. It doesn't matter. You might have to keep doing it until it feels right. And the nagging doubts, they're just torturous. Did I turn it off? Did I lock it up? Have I hurt someone? Did I hurt someone and, I, and I'm not aware of it? Will I hurt someone in, in the future? Will I cause harm in the future? Everything that I have been speaking about are obsessions and they wreak havoc with your mind. And many of you, in an attempt to cope with these, will carry out compulsions. Not everyone does. If you just have the thought processes, those are known just as intrusive thoughts and are detailed later on in the course. But even then, with the intrusive thoughts, or some people call it puro, I think there are compulsions that constant analysis, the reassuring yourself in your head, the rumination, I, I see that as a compulsion, but we'll leave that for now. I'm going to talk about some classic compulsions and then we'll move on. I find it useful to think of compulsions as falling into two categories, those that people can see you doing and those that go on inside your head. Compulsions that other people can see can be checking, washing, touching things, Compulsions that go on inside your head can be repeating words, saying special prayers and checking that you can remember something properly where you go over it and over it in your head to make sure that you understand and remember properly. 
and there can be many more compulsions, more than I've listed here. But there are two things that they all have in common, two main reasons why you carry them out. One is to get rid of some of the distress and discomfort that you feel. And two, you do them in order to prevent something bad from happening. Now, the unfortunate thing is the things that you're doing to make yourself feel a little bit better and to prevent harm from occurring at some stage in the future, they actually keep it all going for you and they make it worse in the long run. But you know what? You don't have to take my word for it as I have a little experiment I want you to undertake. When you're ready, pop down to the next video and you can undertake your own experiment where you'll find out about your own obsessions and your own compulsions. And you can find out if they're actually helpful or not to you. All the materials, everything that you need is there. So don't worry, I have you covered.